You get to see a lot of different things because we do a different trip every day. You know, tomorrow I'll be down around the Cape. Yesterday I was up in New Hampshire and Vermont. We've got some real nice areas. Well, you're in New England. You can't ask for a better part of the country. <laughs> yeah, that's a bias. Uh, Brockway Smith is a wholesale millwork distributor. You're going to redo the inside of your house in New England, and chances are it came from us. Back in 1890, uh, we were operating out of Charlestown, Massachusetts, and it was actually horse and carriage. We were innovators in the millwork industry that we did start off with the motorized equipment. The first day that we sent out the motorized equipment, we had to send out the horse team to pull the motorized equipment back to, to, the, to the plant. I'm very proud of the company. Right down from the very top management of this company, they have real values and they exercise those values in their everyday decisions. They say in New England, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute, because it's going to change, and it's the truth. You can stand off in the morning, and it's sunny. By the time you get up in the southern Vermont, it's clouded over. And once you get almost, almost the Canadian line, there's six inches of wet snow. But by the time you're home again, it's sunny and dry. We currently have nine of the Max Force engines. They were all delivered this past year. I felt it was kind of a no-brainer to go with the Max Force engine versus the Cummins ISM engine. What was driving me towards that decision was the latest mandate as far as the emissions requirement. I did not want to get into a system that was going to require me to put an extra urea tank. This tank would also have to have a separate cooling system and a heating system. To me, if I could make my life simpler, why not do it? The drivers are our goodwill ambassadors because they have more contact with our customers and even our outside sales force. You know, they take care of us. Our equipment is excellent. I'm running a 2010 International. The number one reason why I buy internationals is to, we've had good luck in the past. Whenever we've had an issue, they've worked with us to resolve the issue, and the local representation has been very good. I like the fact that it's an international. I can run it. It's reliable. I know it's been out there. It's going to be there. There's backup for us. It's funny, a lot of our vendors see the trucks pulling in and they say, how did you rate the new truck? It's important, you know, we put our logo all over our trailers and all over our cabs and there's a reason for that. You know, we want to put our name out there and if it's something that's not reliable enough to get there every day, what's well, a big deal? You have to have a truck that's going to get there. You have to have something that looks good and these have got just enough chrome to look good without being ostentatious. Fuel economy is very important in our business. We have consistently enhanced and improved our mile per gallon performance with a Max Force engine. One of our Max Force engines, um, for two or three days running, they saw up over 10 miles of the gallon. In this day and age, with the compression on margins, every time we can squeeze a little bit of cost out, we certainly try that. You know, for me, the, uh, the fact that it's quiet is huge. We're climbing a hill right now and the engine's running at 1500 RPM. And there's a little bit of a thump coming through. This is more like you're driving a, you know, your own pickup. It goes down the road smooth. The engine is just about as silent as a grave. It is quiet enough to listen to anything. If you want to put on classical, you can do that. Do you want me to sing it for you? We've had internationals for as long as I can remember. I would recommend the international brand, uh, but I would recommend the Max Force engine. We really have had uh, dependable service. Keep those doggies rolling.